Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. Now inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about overview of online class session modules. As we are getting many requests to start all about online classes, so that's why we have decided to create our first course with a live code session of WordPress plugin development using Boilerplate. Inside this whole course, we will see step by step plugin development in WordPress using live code session. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about that is what are the modules, what actually we are going to see inside that online class session. Now if I go to the next tab, so simply I have created section by section. So in that online class, the first section will discuss about plugin development basics. Why we are seeing basics? Because after going through basics, we will easily catch all the things like what are the plugin development steps. So in the first section that we have called plugin development basics, we will see all about plugin introduction. Inside that introduction, we will see all about the complete informations of plugin as well as plugin installation inside WordPress. We will see the WordPress version as the latest version. After that, we will install Boilerplate Framework or create a Boilerplate Framework Setup. As we have discussed inside many videos of our playlist all about Boilerplate Framework, about its folder structure, about its inbuilt functions, how can we go and use to create WordPress plugins, all we will discuss inside this course. Also, with the live code session, we will understand about the importance of folder hierarchy as well as how can we place our files for the admin as well as for the front-end functionality. We will see a comparison chart that if we don't use a uh, means while creating a plugin, if we don't use about the boilerplate framework means by using custom co-php or what is the use of boilerplate framework when we create plugins by using that concept we will make a comparison chart next we will see about all about the important modules like creating dynamic pages dynamic tables this is the concept if suppose when we install our plugin activate our plugin so in that case we want to create some dynamic pages also, if suppose we are going to create a plugin which is going to interact with the database table as well as the user response. To save any data, we need a database table. So for that concept, we will create our dynamic tables concept and for that, we will use activation and deactivation hook. Also, we will interact our plugin with front-end actions like how can we create or implement our Ajax request, how can we make our layout over front-end, how can we create our dynamic pages. Also we will see for the front-end pages like to use sort codes, how can we define and how can we call. All these things we will see in the first section called plugin development basics. We will implement our Ajax request for authorized user as well as non-authenticated users. Also, we will discuss that what are the hooks that actually we need while developing any plugin inside WordPress. So these are the bulleted points what we will cover inside the first section called Plugin Development Basics. All about the complete introduction after going through these all sessions, now we have idea to develop any plugin. In the next stage, we will create a stock management system plugin with live code session. We will start from scratch. After installing boilerplate framework, we will cover all the modules what we have specified here. Now the plugin we are going to create called stock management system. This plugin will be used to manage product stock for any inventory system. So it contains the following modules like First of all, we are going to create our layouts by using bootstrap concept. It means that inside this whole course, also we are going to see that how can we create our plugin layouts for the admin panel as well as for the front end panel. And like 
it is not the normal pages we are going to use the bootstrap concept. After layouts, we will cover all about the manage category functionality. Inside this, we will see all about CRUD operation. Here CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete. It means all the database operations. While going through database operations, we will cover about the introduction of global WPTB object. It's a WordPress object which we use to communicate with the database tables. So in the first section of functionality, we will see manage category. Inside this manage category, we will have all the database operations. Next, we will see all about the products concept like what we have created the categories. Inside that category, how many products we have or what are the products we have, all we will discuss inside that. While creating a product, inside this product module, we will upload image from WordPress gallery. So also we will discuss about WPDB means WP.media. By using that JavaScript for provided functions, we will upload our media to any of the plugin. We will see that concept as well. So after category, products, next the plugin functionality will have the customers module. Inside this customers module, we will create our customers for our inventory system. Now next, we need to keep track of the orders. So inside this orders module, we will place any of the order for any of the customer. And finally, after creating this plugin means preparing a layout, creating category section, product section, customers and orders, finally we will get an idea that is how can we push our plugin to WordPress repository. So committing any plugin to WordPress repository, we should have the idea of SVN and their commands. So we will discuss all of the commands which is available to push our plugin inside WordPress. So this is all about the guys actually ideas or the modules what we had discussed in front of you. So simply inside this plugin development online course we will see each things with the live code session. First we will discuss about the plugin development basics including all of the important modules what we will see here and next we will have all about stock management system plugin. Now if I back to browser. So yesterday I have shared a post for our online web tutor channel and inside this we have a community tab. Inside this community tab I have shared a post as we can see 9 hours ago. Inside this post you can find all about the details of that course something WordPress plugin development using boilerplate framework. We will start this course batch from 1st September 2020. Total it will be of 50 days continue course of 1 hour daily. And we will do all about our live code session inside Zoom meeting app. We will see our screen to see all the functions very clearly. Apart from these details, rest details you can find inside this post. So go and say inside this channel, go to community tab and find all the details here. Now if you want some idea about that is, what is the plugin after creating, we will see. So if we go inside Google and type library management system, WP plugin or even WordPress plugin, this is the first link as you can see here. This is the library management system what we have created and committed at by the help of SVN commands to this WordPress repository. So our stock management system plugin is going to some similar functionality. This is also the plugin which is going to interact with the database operation for all the modules like it have some category module, books module, users module, issue management, return management and so on. But inside our case, we will have a category module, all about the product module, customers module and orders module. So we are going to use the same functionality or the same code pieces 
or the same development steps what actually we had done inside this library management system. So while going through that online course session guys actually you are going to create yourself as standalone like plugin development for the WordPress. Now if you have any query about regarding this course simply you can drop your message to this WhatsApp or you can use our Skype ID or even if you can use our email address what actually we have provided here. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.